Alright, so today uh, I'm going to show you how to use some simple jQuery to create some simple animations, just some sliding, to create some sort of menu navigations or whatever you want to do with it. But uh, this is just a little example of what I made with it and what I'm going to show you how to make. Again, I don't really know what you're going to do with this, but it's a lot of fun to play with. So, uh, let's get started on how to make it. So, start off uh, with, this is the code for it right here, so we'll go through this. Uh, start off with a, uh, a new text document here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to open our HTML tags and open a head, give us some style. We're going to be filling this in as we go. And then let's pull in our jQuery. So I'm just going to copy and paste that from my completed document. It, it really it's just script and then the jQuery source. I recommend you download it, not actually link straight to it. Uh, but there you go. So let's put that in there. Close our head, open our body, close the body, close the HTML, and let's save this out so we can actually start testing it as we build it. So save as, and, and the shortcuts that I made earlier in the other video, if you don't know, go watch that. So save this in the testing folder, and we'll save that as uh, play 2 to HTML and save. So now it's copied that, and let's play 2.html. There we go, so there's nothing here. So let's start by creating the div that we'll need. So basically, it's a div inside of a div. So there's two boxes on top of each other. So we've got div, and I'm going to give it a class of header, which isn't created yet. And then we're going to close that div. And give it another div with a class equals box, which is going to be the main box. Okay, close that div. And there you go, that, that's the main principle. And then let's actually put some text in here, because this is going to be in the header text. So we're going to call that, uh, you know, uh, click, click me to show and hide. Okay, there we go. So if we take a look at that, nothing. Okay, so you got your text, but nothing here. So let's style these so we can actually see something. So to get to the header, it's going to be dot header. So dot for class, header, opening, closing, curly braces. And for the header, basically, let's give it a background color. Background dash color orange. Uh, and then let's give it a width. Width, let's do 200 pixels. We can make them pretty small. Give it a padding. We're going to need the padding later. I'll explain. Well, the padding is going to be for our rounded corners that we're doing. Color for the text, which is white. And I hate Times New Roman, so we'll do Arial, which looks a lot nicer. And because this is going to be where you hover, it's going to be a pointer. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay, very nice. Now let's style the box, dot box, opening and closing curly braces. And the box is going to be also width of 200 pixels. And let's give that a <clears throat> background color of black, since I don't know why, I guess we're going Halloween here. Background color black. Okay, now there's no content in it yet, so I'm going to give it a height, but you're going to get rid of the height when you actually have content in it. And we'll just do a height of about 100 pixels, and to stay congruent, with the padding, let's say padding 15 pixels as well. Alright, let's take a look at that. That should give us, there you go, box. Okay. Now obviously the other ones are rounded, so let's do the rounded corners. The rounded corners are new to C, uh, CSS3, and <clears throat> so this won't work in IE6 or IE7, but all the newer browsers can. For Safari, it's dash webkit, dash border. Now, for the for the header here, we're just going to do the top left and top right because and then we're going to just do the bottom right and bottom left and the other one since we have two divs so border dash uh, top dash left dash radius colon 10 pixels and then let's just copy that so top left and top right and then we're copying and pasting again for Firefox which is Mozilla there you go and then top right top right there you go now let's copy these four and paste them down here for the box which is going to be bottom left bottom 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 let's take a look at that there you go all rounded corners looks nice now let's add uh, the jQuery to this so next thing we need to do is add in our script so under here we're gonna go script spelling that right type equals text text, let me get my quotes right, text slash javascript quote and end that and close the thing. Okay, 
Now we're going to do the infamous opening jQuery, which is basically dollar sign parentheses document document uh, close that dot ready and open up function brackets for the function bracket blah 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 bracket you can usually copy and paste this from other documents but it basically says when the document's ready to be messed with let's mess with it so then in the document dot ready we need to refer to the header so money sign dot header which is the class header that we want to go with and we actually we need to put this in quotes here it's not going to read it quotes now once we get that element we're going to add a hover ability to it so we want to hover and that's going to be the new function all right new function and when you hover over it we want this referring to the header we don't have to type it again we can just use this as our keyword dot next okay next because in the div we have this div is the header when you hover over this we want to affect the box which I know is always going to be the next one okay so dot next dot and then we're going to use a jQuery called slide toggle which is going to change it depending on what it is so that way you don't have to actually remember it anywhere else and we're just going to do 400 seconds or 400 milliseconds I believe that's what it is okay close that and then uh, it's the hover actually takes two parameters which is mouse over and mouse out in one. It's a very helper function. So we actually need to add a new function in here. So comma and then add a new function and then close that. There we go. So we have basically function, comma, function. And we're going to refer actually it's going to do the exact same thing for this. So just copy and paste that. Slide toggle because we already know what it's going to do. Okay, so that's basically the jQuery. This let's take a look at that. And if we do that, there you go. So very simple. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a bunch of these. So first thing is down here, we can just add a couple of these one by one. There, 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 there. And because of the way we did the jQuery, all these will work. See, there you go. Very nice. So let's undo that. I want to put them next to each other. I'm still a fan of the table model. So let's say table, tr, td, and let's put this spaced correctly in there. I always a big fan of spacing everything correctly. There you go. And close the TD, close the TR, and close the table. There you go. Now we have one in a table. Let's actually put uh, a couple of TDs together. And I'm going to undo this in a second just to show you what happens. If we have a couple here, three. Okay. Now watch what happens. They're going into the center. See what's happening? They're going into the center, which is obviously not what we want. We want them to stay at the top. The reason that is, is because, let me actually show you the border. Border equals 1. What's happening to the table? So, see how, by default, in the table, they're aligning center? That's a default action of a table. Easy fix for that. TD, the align equals, quote, top. Add that to the TDs. Okay, very simple procedure. Open that up. There you go. So now, when we refresh it, I need to save. There you go. Now we refresh it. If I don't open everything up first. There we go. See that? Now they're all at the top. And you can actually see when they're all up that the table is actually adjusting. Very nice. So we can get rid of the table border. And now that we have that, let's just add um, a couple more. I want to keep the divs, the boxes inside of the table cells. That way they affect each other. So for this one, I'll put these two in each other. See how they're actually affecting each other? If I didn't do that, then the table data would affect the other tables. So we'll just do like that. So we have three. And then, so we'll just do three in each one. Now, there's one last thing we need to do. Let's test that out. So there you go, fancy. One last thing. We want them all to start closed. How do we start them all closed? Well, because slide toggle does what it does, uh, if it's display none, then it toggles open. So let's start them all off, all the boxes with display none, and that will close all of them. Now when you hover over, it's going to do it. And there's that effect. So, pretty simple to do. Um, only took about five minutes. So, really, it, very simple. And, and you could develop this into almost anything. So, I hope you learned a lot.